Hi, this is Rugby Doc here. I'm, I'm still in Atlanta. I'm at Life University, and I had the honor of Scott Lawrence sitting down next to me. And if you're not aware, Scott Lawrence is the uh, head coach of the USA uh, Under-23 Selects. Just Selects. Just yeah. Selects. Yeah. And he was the uh, defense coach for the US, USA Eagles team. Uh, he coached here at Life. And now Scott Lawrence has the honor of being the new head coach for Rugby ATL, which is the new uh, professional team that joins the MLR this season. So we're going to ask Scott a couple questions, like how is it starting a team from scratch? I mean, here you are, you've got to build a professional team, yeah. and you're, you've got nobody. I mean I, I mean, I know you got a great assistant coach because you hired Blake as your, as your coach, yeah. but where do you go from there? Uh, I think the first thing you do is get together with the people that you want or the infrastructure of your organization and you get people to align to your core values. They align to what you want to be as a franchise or a sporting team or how you want to represent the city or whatever, the university that you're in. And Once you get those people, because good people bring other good people in and you really set those things up and then you go and find players that fit the mold uh, of your organization first. Okay. There's plenty of talent out there, um, but uh, there's the unique combination that fits the values that you want as well as the talent level required to complete uh, compete professionally. That's interesting because, you know, in club rugby, I have a team and my team generally stays the same and I'm, they're with me season after season. Uh, as the collegiate coaches, they get a, they get a team. They're, they're, it's a slow progression as the players change. Yep. So it seems to me like it's easier to instill core values in that. When you get a bunch of, now we're getting professional athletes, you're getting elite athletes from all over the country. How do you yeah. get them to buy into your core values? Well, I think you engage them in the conversation. So you start with stating them and then you're very clear about the standards of how that uh, those core values are going to represent themselves within the team, within the environment, and the way that they represent themselves off the field as well. And then you buy them, then you bring them into that conversation. If you've done your due diligence and you've selected the right people, then they'll enhance those values and they'll find new ways to apply them. But they have to be a part of what that looks like in the day-to-day -day environment. Have you, I mean, the, your season's in the spring. Have you sat down and worked? On, what are your core values for the MLR Rugby Atlanta team? We refer to them as playing at pace, P-A-C-E. And the first one is is uh, developing people. That's the P, which is really about finding your success and the success of others. And that is on the field. That's being a good teammate. That's hoping and it's helping your teammates succeed off the field. It's about uh, bringing the game to the community and uh, helping other people learn and get better. The second one is embracing accountability. And that is about owning your own performance and owning your own actions and looking to yourself first to solve issues. Mm -hmm. The third one is a C, which is create change. And we think of it a little bit differently than just change. Change happens to you. Uh, creating change means that you go into whatever it is. A, maybe it's a middle school. Uh, maybe it's meeting a fan for the first time. Maybe it's coming into a game in the 65th minute, but you're actually looking to change that environment uh, for the positive. And then finally, it's execution. And that's the E. And execution is really about a couple of things. One is it's a performance business. That's the way it is. And you, you, you need to be able to execute your role and do your job day in and day out. Yeah. The second part of that is really about integrity. If you're going to commit to something, um, you know, we don't deal a lot in goals. We deal in commitments. So commit to something and then go execute it. As my team likes to say, you're, you're all in. Yeah. I mean, you're, I mean either you're in or you're not. So yeah. we uh, we like to say we're all in. Yeah. Now, one of the big we talked about this in, in another video, the big buzzword out there in the rugby community the last few years is culture, culture, team culture. Yeah. And just from talking to you right now, it sounds to me that if you develop your core values, then the culture is something that just falls into place. Yeah. I I, I think if you develop them. But you're also the example. And I, I, and I keep coming back to picking the right people at the beginning, and then if they're not the right people, having the courage to make a change to make sure that they are, because the organization will live on. Uh, players will come and go. We hope they come and stay for as long as they do. But they need to live the example of your core values every day, and you need to spend time to talk about what that means and 
how we're going to represent ourselves. Well, this was um, this was extremely valuable to me. Just hearing those answers as a head coach to a, a men's program and a high school program and a kids league, and I know the other coaches out there watching this going to be real appreciative of that. So I want to thank you for taking the time. I know you got yeah. to get out there and coach your ATL team. Yeah. So um, if you liked Scott's video here with me, please uh, give the video a big thumbs up and then subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you next week.